You know her from her tech unboxings, product reviews, gaming, and various vlogs on YouTube where she has amassed more than 7 million subscribers and over 1 billion views. She's an OG in the tech media space and certainly one of my biggest inspirations. She's an Apple fan, pet mom, and just generally awesome online personality. Of course, I am talking about Justine Izarek, better known as iJustine. I interviewed iJustine about smartphones, something she knows a thing or two about. We got our conversation on camera and I'd like to share it with you now. Enjoy. Hi, Justine. Hi. I have to ask, are you ready to talk about smartphones? I mean, of course, that's literally all I talk about anyway, so we might as well just continue the conversation. I figured, <laughs> I figured. What would you say has been the most exciting smartphone innovation of maybe the last two, three years? I would say the increase of night photography because trying to take photos, even in just like low light situations, was always such a struggle. And now with like a lot of these phones integrating in like incredible night photography and even night video mm -hmm. is so exciting. And how about the budget phones that even can do excellent night photography? It's which a is your sector. Yeah, which is amazing to see sort of those features kind of trickle down into things that everyone can afford because I feel like as we see technology get better, it's like the prices of these things decrease so that it's more accessible. With that, how important would you say smartphone quality, the camera quality of a smartphone really is? I think it depends what you're doing with it. And even if someone says, I'm just going to be using my phone to, to text or make calls, there's a really good chance that you're probably taking photos as well, whether it's with your kids or your family or vacations. And just being able to have a device with you that can take incredible photos and videos, I think it's really important. What is the number one culprit of screen time on your phone? What are you <laughs> using your phone for most? So I looked this up because I thought it was going to be TikTok, but it was actually just like the messages app mm -hmm. and then TikTok because I'm probably sending the TikToks to all of my friends through messages. So. <laughs> oh, same. Oh, I love your TikToks. It's oh. It's a dangerous platform because it's just all I want to do is scroll. I really admire how you've kind of transitioned your content that you're not just putting your YouTube content on TikTok, mm -hmm. but you're actually making dedicated TikTok content. And well, I think that there's a lot to learn from that. Yeah, and it's interesting because even if we're out filming a video for YouTube, mm -hmm. we will just stop, take a second, flip the camera vertical, even if it's, you know, a, a big camera like this mm -hmm. and, you know, make content for that. But it's been so fun that now like you can basically just film that type of stuff with your phone mm -hmm. and get the same result. So it's, it's really cool to see that transition. So I think we know one of the answers to my next questions, but if you were only able to use three third-party apps for the rest of this year, 2022, okay. what would they be? And is one of them TikTok? 100%. I was going to say TikTok, TikTok, and TikTok, <laughs> but I would say TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. All three social media platforms? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I need to talk to my friends. <laughs> And then my last question for you is, more than anything, what do you want to see on a future smartphone that doesn't exist yet? A feature that's maybe not out there. If you could go into a design room and say, hey, I want this, what is that feature? You know, I love the way that a lot of phones are becoming cameras. So just seeing the, the increase of camera lenses, being able to get more depth of field, like that kind of thing. I mean, even though we're on our way to that, I just love seeing it year by year, everything gets better. Also, I would, like to see my phone just take off from my hand and you know take a selfie but a I levitating think, smartphone yeah why not it looks like a drone <laughs> right well i saw you got to try out the new snapchat drone exactly. is that kind of like that that but a phone okay i like it i like it who needs selfie sticks and, and iphone tripods just nope. get a iphone that floats there we go all right guys justine there is one more thing that i want to show you this is a selfie that we took at ces 2020 the last like big in-person ces there was one this year but this one was when we were both there i'll we'll put it up on the screen for you at home to, there we are. to see and it's kind of like a full circle moment it is a little bit right now we're here in new york and we're getting to do an interview so we're actually here for the Techno Cam and 19 Pro launch, and I'm so excited, and I've actually got the phone right here. So let's take another selfie. Let's do we'll it. We'll do a little updated pic for All next right. time. Hopefully it won't be two years until we see each other again. I hope not. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Nice. Amazing, thank you so much, Justine. Yes, thank you. This is great. Catch you next time.